Let's get it. Yes, sir. What up, fam? It's your boy, G. Ridge. You can see what I have right here. Yes, sir. This is going to be a quick one. How do you make a juicy and tender steak in a cast iron skillet? Yes, sir. I got one for you, okay? This is how you do it. And it's going to be good and juicy, okay? This is how you do it. First thing, you you know, after cleaning your meat off and everything, some of you like to trim the fat and stuff around there. I don't. I don't. So I'm going to leave it like this here. And, and um, go ahead and pat it down, okay? Make sure you pat it down real good. Take the excess water and stuff out of it. Yeah, so you want it nice. Look at that. They're nice and thick. These are the ribeyes. And I have two New York strips right here. Now, you know, New York strips is just uh, T-bones without the, that bone on the side. They just trim that part off, okay? But it is a nice steak as well as the ribeyes. My children love those T-bones, and Teresa and I like the ribeyes, okay? Yes, yeah, sir, I got one for you, family. Just pat it down, it's not going to hurt nothing. Pat it down real good. Make sure your hands are nice and clean, fam. Come on now. You see, I'm not wearing the gloves, so. Because I want to just jump right into this, and I don't have time to go back and forth and change out gloves and stuff like that, okay? All right, so what we're going to do right here, all right. We're going to sit this right here, and we're going to go ahead and uh, recognize the ingredients that we have, okay? That's one-fourth of a cup of vegetable oil, okay? And that right here, you got two pats, four pats of butter. This is salted butter. You got to use salted butter on this particular recipe, okay? I have four pats of it, and I have some extra yeah, just in case I need it. I have one lemon cut up. I like to put lemon on my steaks. Yes, sir. I got, yes, yeah, sir. You already know what coldest water bottle. You got, you know, you're gonna need seasoned salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and I'm gonna use some of this smoky salt and cracked pepper. Okay, I like to use that. I, you know, it's, it's it's real good. I'm just gonna mix it all up and then I'm gonna sprinkle it on here. Okay. Anyway, we got the meat pat down good. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of uh Lowry season salt i like to use the Lowry season salt okay all right you have one tablespoon of black pepper okay bring it in a little closer and this is like like just about half a tablespoon of the smoky salt and cracked pepper we don't want it too salty all right and you have one tablespoon one full tablespoon of garlic powder all right so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and just mix it up you're going to love this family. It'll be nice and good on the steak. Okay? Yes, sir. See, what we're going to do is, when we heat the pan up, okay? We get the pan get good and hot with the oil in it. And you see the oil starts to shimmer in there? That's when you're going to put the butter in there, all right? Then you're going to melt the butter in there. And once the butter starts melt real good, that's when you're going to add the steak to it, okay? You'll probably do two of them at a time, all right? So after I do the first two, I'm going to take the first two and sit it to the side. Then I'm going to do the other two, okay? Then, you know, as they cook down, I'm going to leave the remnants and what's, what else is left in the pan, put the steak back in the pan, okay? Then I'm going to cook it, cook it uh, an additional 10 minutes in the oven for 350 degrees, for, on 350, okay? It's not going to take that long, but what you're going to do while it's cooking in the pan, you're going to burn, you're going to brown each side at least three minutes on each side all right yes yeah, sir the steak will be good and good and juicy and we're going for medium well all right once that middle reaches 150 degrees we're going to be ready to go all right all right you see this so now we're going to go walk right on through it you see this so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just sprinkle this down here I want to sprinkle this down good. Let me get, me get, get it in there real good. Because what we're going to do is we're just going to pat it and spread it all the way around. We're going to get this nice and coated, fam. Yes, sir. I want it nice and coated. 
for too much because we want to do the other side as well. Okay, flip this side over. When we get finished and it's set on there a while, you'll see the whole steak that's going to be cut. You'll see that it's all totally covered, okay? Once we get it in that, oh man, once we get that steak in that butter family, yeah, sir, you already know. Yeah, I said, okay. So, and I wait now, I know I, I measured it out, right? <laughs> yeah, I said. All right. So, you take it and you spread it around, nice and coated. And don't you worry about each side, it'll get coated. See the little rims there? It's okay, drop some more on there. I want it nice and seasoned. All right. Okay, fam. So, what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and turn the oven on at 350 degrees and we'll let it warm up and get be, be prepared for the steak. Okay. So, what we're going to do is the um, pan is getting hot right now. We're going to go ahead and add the vegetable oil in there. Okay. You got one fourth of a cup. Yes, the pan look oiled down. You know, you have to keep those uh, cast iron skillets. You got to keep them oiled down real good. Okay. Or well, they'll rustle, and when they rustle real bad, then you can't eat out of it. Yes, sir. See, that's the thing of beauty. Let it get good and hot, because as soon as I throw that butter in there, I want it to melt. All right? Then, like I say, we're going to put two two steaks at a time. Two, cook them for, uh, for three to five, five minutes on each side of the steak. Set it to the side. Cook the other two, okay? And then, when they're done, I'm going to put the other two steaks back in there, and I'm going to put the whole pan uncovered in the oven for 10 minutes at 350 degrees okay and we should be ready to go okay fam so i'm gonna i'm gonna put all four packs of these butter so it'll be like four tablespoons okay yeah that's what i want you want enough salted butter that's for that flavor okay yeah Look at that family. Mm-hmm. Because we're gonna sear our steak first and then we're gonna put it in the oven. That's gonna maintain the tender and the juiciness. Alright. Alright, so we're going in, we're gonna go in with the ribeyes. Look at that, nice and coated on both sides, like I told you. Yes, yeah, sir. Mm-hmm. Nice and coated. So we're going to cook them on each side for about five minutes, okay? Then we're going to put them to the side and we're going to add the other two, okay? And then we're going to put add those back, like I told you, and put them in the oven for how long we need it. Now see, as you can see, you see it's cooking? Yes, yeah, sir. See, what you're doing is you're going to make a, you're trying to make that crust on each side. Oh, fam, you see it. You can go ahead and turn that one on over. Look at that. So you're trying to make that good crust just like that. Maintain the integrity of the steak. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. So what you want to do, I flipped it over around four minutes, okay? It cooked on this side for like around four minutes. So I just flipped it over, okay? So now we're going to let this side cook for four to five minutes, all right? And let the other side get get that little crust on. And look at that family. Stick with your boy. Oh, fam, look at that. Yes, sir. Look at it, family. See that? Look at it. See, see what I'm saying? Only just now do you want to understand. Okay, you see that? Yeah, sir. That's what you want. You try to look at that little, little develop that little crust on top of it. Yeah, sir. That's how you sear your meat. All right. It should hold the integrity so it can be juicy and tender after you get through baking it for about 10 to 15 minutes. So I say 10 to 15 because some people might want their stuff well done. I want my medium well, all right? So it's about time. 
that, that, that's good. So we're going to 10 minutes. Look at that family. That's nice and juicy. Yes, sir. We're going to set that to the side. Yes, sir. Look at the butter down there. Butter room is down there. Yeah, now you know this is going to be delicious. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and add the um, the New York strip. Look at that man, mama. Mm-hmm. Got to take care of babies. Yes, sir. Got to take care of the babies. Oh, look at that, fam. You see what I did right here? See that? These are New, these are New York strips, so you don't want to cook them too fast. So I took it off the direct heat. You understand what I'm saying? To keep these ju juicy and tender as well. Oh, fam. I'm not playing with y'all. Okay, it's time. All right. Now we're going to put these ribeyes back in here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Uh-huh. Yes, sir. We can turn this here off. We're going to leave it in that little buttery flavor. Look at that. Look at that. Now we're going to go ahead and sprinkle some lemon juice on the family. Sit that right on top. Nice and juicy. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Mama, there goes that man. All right, he's going into the oven for 10 minutes, and this should be ready to go. Hold on tight. I'll be back. All right, so we're going in the oven right now. So we're also going to have baked potato with this as well. A quick little dinner, family. Quick little lunch, dinner, whatever you want to call it. I've been putting the baked potato in there because I know you're seeing the oven on. So the baked potato, by the time these are done, yeah, sir, it's going down. So hold on tight. I'll be right back. All right, family. Here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, oh, oh look at that, fam. O-M-G. O-M to the G, fam. Look. We going in. Yes, sir. Nice and juicy. I ain't playing with y'all. Oh, yes, family. We have reached the right temperature. Now we're gonna open it up and let you see it. Oh, look at look at look how I just cut like by <laughs> look at that. Uh, come on, let's taste test it right quick for you. Ooh. I tried to tell you, fam. Medium. Well done. As you can see, put it back down now. Look how juicy that is. OMG, fam. I love y'all in life. G Rich Out, there's another one. That's how you make juicy and tender steak in an iron skillet. In your mind.